Hey, it's Pat Gillis here, and I think probably the first time I ever heard about something like this was got to be almost 25 years ago. And uh, it was a friend of ours who knew someone who had a horse, and they used to keep this horse in a gra or a, a dirt ring adjacent to the grass rings where his little buddies were. And they did that because the horse had a real uh, tendency to founder, and so they didn't want him to get grass because he was the type of horse that if he got on the grass, he, would, he wouldn't even look up all day. He wouldn't come up for air even once. He would just eat, eat, eat all day. So they kept him in this dirt ring. And um, I think in the afternoon, sometimes they'd let him over for a half an hour or 40 minutes, something with his buddies. But that was about it because that's all the horse could tolerate. At any rate, uh, I guess one day when uh, either the, the owners of the horse weren't home or else they weren't paying attention and uh, some neighbors came and they meant well, I guess they felt sort of sorry for him and they um, they had brought a bag of grass clippings and they threw the grass clippings over the fence and of course the old horse went over right away and hoovered it up because that's what he would do he would just vacuum the whole thing up and um, I think if, if, if memory serves I think that old guy was he was dead in about I think four hours and uh, it was a real shame and uh, I, I guess I got thinking about it again recently here because uh, like last week someone gave us a call that they knew of some that this had happened to their horse and then I saw it on Facebook that someone had had it happen to their horse and I thought well maybe it's something we should talk about again probably and maybe instead of just saying don't feed horses grass clippings maybe we should just go through some of the reasons why you shouldn't and so that's what this video is about today. So number one is that the horse's digestive tract is so very very delicate. It's not designed to adapt to rapid changes in diet and that's what a bag of grass clippings would really represent. Um, the risk of colic or founder is really, really high when you change the diet of the horse that quickly. And the fact that he could consume so much of it as well. Okay, so number two is that fresh grass clippings are gonna ferment. So if you ever cut grass, next time just leave it in a little pile for half an hour or so and then stick your hand in it. And it will be warm, if not actually hot. And that's because it ferments at just sitting there in the sun. And it does exactly the same thing inside the horse's gut. Um, the vet that attended at the time where that horse that I was telling you about passed away, he believes that the stomach had actually ruptured because there was so much gas buildup and the horse had died from fatal peritonitis in the end. Okay, third reason is botulism. A pile of grass clippings can... Um, create an anaerobic state where the toxin that causes botulism can really develop and for some reason horses are pretty susceptible to botulism and even though you don't hear of it that often when it does affect them it affects them very badly and it's pretty hard to treat. Number four is a horse is actually a very careful grazer but if and he'll avoid any kind of toxic plants in the field or whatever but if you um, accidentally cut up toxic plants and then it's in amongst the grass clippings it's really hard for the horse to be as selective as all that. Number five is that there could be chemicals um, that you've sprayed on your grass that aren't going to be any good for your horse either. Number six is that horses unlike people they only um, create saliva when they chew things. Now mind you they create between 3 and 11 gallons of it per day but saliva has an important function in horses in that it helps sort of lubricate the esophagus and it also buffers the contents of the stomach a little bit. So if a horse is just swallowing um, grass clippings and not chewing he's not producing saliva which means that he could choke more easily and also you're ending up with this stuff just dumped into the stomach and not processed in any way. So if you compare the chewing that this horse is doing compared to the uh, wonderful demonstration that Bella provides and that Pebbles provides as to how to actually inhale grain, and grain still requires chewing, right? So imagine if they got a big mouthful like that of grass clippings and then just proceeded to swallow it. They'd be in a lot of trouble. Boy, they sure are enjoying that. I put it in a glass bowl so you could see it. Anyway, until next week... Let's spread the message as best you can. Any horse people that you know or people who like horses or anything or pass by horses, just tell them, warn them about the danger of feeding grass clippings, and we'll see you next week. Thanks.